feels like there's a little something missing. He's back. Hey guys, uh, here is my review for La La Land, the latest film starring Ryan Gosling and... <laughs> and Emma Stone. First off, I want to take a little note. Um, I've got my I Love You cup of Princess Leia there. Absolutely devastated that Carrie Fisher has died and now her mother has just died too. So really, I can't believe how much this year has sucked in terms of celebrity deaths. Condolences to Carrie Fisher's family and let's hope this year gets over with quickly and no one else dies. There's been enough of that. So back to a brighter note, La La Land. It's one of my favorite movies of the year. It's the last movie I'm gonna see this year. I got all the way up to 59, I was one short of 60. But La La Land is an absolutely amazing film to end the year off with for me because it's incredible. Damien Chazelle has once again proven that not only is he a master with film, but he is a master of bringing music into film. He already did it with Whiplash, which had I seen it would have been my number one film of 2014 in that year. This movie is almost my number one movie for this year. It is an absolutely impossibly amazing film. It is uh, basically the idea of a 50s, 40s musical taking place in modern day. That's the basic thing you can I can say. There's this opening musical number at the beginning of the film where everyone gets out of their cars on this jam-packed highway in LA and they all start doing dancing and choreographs and singing and it's all done seemingly in one cut, which is something that Damien has really mastered. And the DOP also did a fantastic job of just being able to make every shot be very long, continuous, and immersive. And like the old films, long cuts, a lot of straight up doing it not doing different cuts of it but one long take and it just helps seal in the performance and the authenticity of this whole film this is a great love story too it reminded me a lot of days of uh, 500 days of summer not in the same sense of how the characters work what happens with them there are some similarities in that sense but how the story goes from winter it starts in uh, winter summer fall winter it, it does all these aspects that are somewhat from other love stories but they are made in their own and then the music the music is once again absolutely incredible great focus on jazz and homage to this great art and we see we have some musical numbers both in terms of overture as well as singing that are really catchy the theme song music is phenomenal ryan gosling the plays his amazing piano skills emma stone's great at singing and it's really funny because this is the third time we've seen them together it's been crazy stupid love gangster squad with no meme and now la la land and this is i feel the trifecta of them for films in terms of love stories crazy stupid love was really good with them la la or gangster squad yeah but this is the cherry on top this is the pinnacle of ryan gosling and emma stone these two have amazing chemistry together in this film their dialogue is great their ambitions their characters have so many intricate facets to them that you are just enamored with them throughout the entire film and you want to see what will happen is this film a little long it is a little bit admittedly but i felt every scene was necessary i went and bought the soundtrack literally right after i bought it i was listening to it on the way home from watching the movie today it is an absolutely energetic masterfully shot film the editing uh, once again is amazing the sets are just the set work like the light work it just there's a lot of moments where all the lights will go down and it'll just be one and it's like you're watching the thing on stage it really blends those two together the film and the stage medium because it's paying homage to both of them as well as the works of old and what i like too is it had a realistic sort of ideal to it even though there are some really uh, kind of theatrical sort of settings. But just how the story works out, I actually feel that the story is perfect. And the ending too, while it's a little bit of a kind of a, eh, you didn't really need it, 
I still feel it's necessary. Some people may feel it's not needed, but I think it's it works. It gives us this other aisle. And I know I really liked La La Land. I thought everything was good. The direction was great. The acting was amazing. The story and the songs were absolutely lovely. I am going to give La La Land a 7 out of 7. And no, it is not because I wear this shirt. It was amazingly well done. If you want a musical that is good and doesn't drain the life out of you like Les Mis does, watch La La Land. You will like it. Anyway guys, that's my last movie review for 2016. My top 10 list is coming right up. See you guys in a little bit.